What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to show you my 2016 gaming setup. Now when it comes to gaming, television, and entertainment, I believe that there are certain things that you just have to have. Number one, a nice, bright, and vivid image. This is my Vizio 60-inch LED Smart TV. It supports Wi-Fi with a ton of built-in apps like Netflix, YouTube, and Hulu. It has three HDMI ports for multiple connections for things like my PS4, Xbox One, and Wii U. It also has multiple USB 3.0 ports for watching movies, listening to music, and looking at pictures straight from a flash drive or external hard drive. It has amazing colors and deep blacks with a stunning sharp image. It also sports Clear Action 240 for great motion during fast action moments. This TV has been the centerpiece of my living room and has never failed to amaze me during gameplay sessions or Blu-ray viewing. Now this little beauty is my wife's little display. And while it's not as big as mine, it is used by her when she games with me or by herself. It has a great image and refresh rate at 900p resolution. While it's nothing really fancy, it gets the job done for her and there's nothing like gaming with your significant other in the same room on two different consoles. Number two, sound that is a notch above the rest and has the ability to bring you into the experience, be it gaming, watching Blu-rays, or streaming Netflix. My Vizio soundbar sounds amazing. It's sleek in design, has a 2.4 gigahertz wireless subwoofer that works flawlessly within a 30 foot radius. It has a gloss finish and also has a remote, but if you lose it, you can still use the easy to get to buttons on top of the bar itself. I'm not quite an audiophile, but with this soundbar, I'm starting to believe. Number three, games. And when I say games, I mean enough to give you a nice variety to choose from so that you have a robust and varied experience. When it comes to gaming, I take my gaming very seriously and have been actively collecting consoles and physical games for years. So it should come as no surprise that I have an outstanding collection. The PS4 is my most used console along with my wife's PS4. We put in some serious gaming time on our machines and with them both being recently upgraded to two terabyte hard drives, we have even more access to the games that we both love and play. But as you can see, we have and play other consoles as well. Everything from the awesome Xbox One to the Sega Dreamcast gets ample playtime here and we don't discriminate. I love my handhelds too and have multiple PSPs, a 3DS and a new 3DS XL, along with my PlayStation Vita. I recently also bought a PS TV which plays Vita games on the big screen. I have a Game Boy Advance and a Game Boy Micro as well. My collection spans virtually all generations of gaming, from juggernauts like the Super Nintendo to fairly unknowns like SNK's Neo Geo Pocket Color. The consoles are some of my most prized material possessions as they have been a part of my life for a long time and have helped hone my skills as a gamer. My actual physical games collection isn't too shabby itself, and although a majority of my 8th generation games are digital, the ones I have collected are still my pride and joy. Everything from PlayStation 4 to Xbox One, PS3 to PS2. I have the original Xbox and Xbox 360, and my very nostalgic Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo collection is all here. If you look closely, you may even spot my PSP, PlayStation Vita, 3DS, and Game Gear collection in here as well. And what's a geek without his or her figures? As you can see, I have a modest collection of my favorite anime and gaming figures. Everything from The Last of Us, to Tekken, to Mario Brothers, and even Naruto, which is my favorite anime. My sword collection isn't bad either, and is waiting for anyone who chooses the wrong crib to break into. From the 4.5 foot tempered steel buster sword from Final Fantasy VII, to my Excalibur blade, and even my Kingdom Hearts Keyblade are all here looking pretty and adding to the overall gaming atmosphere. And being a gamer while also a YouTuber, you certainly need a powerful PC. So let me introduce you to my ASUS UX501 ZenBook Pro. 
I have always wanted a powerful PC, and lacking the knowledge I needed to make great choices in laptops in the past led me to learning exactly what I wanted in a PC and which brands could deliver on that idea. This laptop is a beast, as powerful as it is stylish. The laptop sports a fully brushed radial aluminum body and is as pleasing to the eye as the MacBook Pro. The screen is highly reflective though, and in well-lit areas, this can be an issue. The screen is also a 4K Ultra HD touchscreen. And while having a touchscreen seems impractical for a laptop, I'm sure some people will find it useful. The picture is amazing, and while some apps have scaling issues, those that don't look stunning in 4K. The laptop has downward facing speakers and while the speakers aren't that great to start with, the choice to install them in such a way really confuses me as the sound can often be muffled. The ZenBook Pro is also very thin and light. I'm sure you'll agree for a 15 inch laptop that only weighs 4.5 pounds and is only 0.81 inches thick. Now I already said that this thing is a powerhouse and for a laptop at $1500, I couldn't find a more attractive PC for my gaming and video editing needs. This thing sports a 6th generation Intel i7, 6700 Skylake processor, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD. Now get this, the UX501's 512 SSD duplicated 4.97 gigabytes of multimedia files in only 10 seconds at a blindingly fast rate. That's 508.9 megabytes per second. And that's faster than the category average of 182 megabytes per second. So that speed really comes in handy on this thing. The graphics card is also nothing to scoff at, packing an NVIDIA GTX 960M with two gigs of onboard VRAM. And while it's not the latest offering from NVIDIA, this GPU is plenty enough to run the latest graphically intense games at medium settings to high settings. And that's really all I need. The laptop also has a 720p webcam, three USB 3 ports, Thunderbolt 3, an SD card slot, an HDMI port, a mini display port, and backlit keyboard. So in short, this laptop is everything I need for rendering and editing my videos. The rendering time has been shortened by 80% compared to my old HP NV17. So a video that took 30 minutes to render on my old laptop takes about 6 to 7 minutes now, and that's exciting. The graphics card has also made a huge difference in gaming on PC, as now I can enjoy PC games in the way they were intended to be enjoyed. This laptop is awesome, and while the sound is subpar and the display is very reflective, the pros far outweigh the cons. The processor, GPU, RAM, and SSD make this an awesome laptop for anyone looking to get into video editing. And for $1500, it has very similar specs to a MacBook Pro, and that's $1000 less than the MacBook. Well guys, thank you for watching my 2016 gaming setup video. It's taken a while to get this thing right, and I'm very comfortable with what I have right now, but I look forward to future enhancements. Tell me your thoughts below in the comment section. Is this enough for me? Is it enough for you? What are some ways that I can enhance this setup? Be sure to give a thumbs up if you haven't done it already, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.